The spine is a fascinating structure, and, and we're very fortunate here at the Virginia Spine Institute to be able to take care of such a complex but important part of our body. The spine is made up of several areas. The cervical area is at the top of the spine. Thoracic is in the mid area where the ribs are. The lumbar spine is in the low back, and that's down here at the base. And then finally, at the very bottom in the pelvis area is the sacrum and the coccyx. So this is really five main areas of the spine. When we look at the neck area, we see that that's very flexible because it's got a bowling ball for a head on top and then the rigid thoracic area in between. So there's a lot of motion there. Same is true in the lumbar spine. We have a lot of motion or flexibility there. And then we have the rigidity of the thoracic spine because of the rib cage and the rigidity in the pelvis created by the fused sacrum and then the entire large pelvic structures and supporting muscles. So these transition zones from where that's highly flexible to more rigid are areas that often get into problem. The vertebral structure is a beautiful structure often copied in the art world because of the intricacies of all the spinous process and knobs that stick off. When we take a look at the actual bone here, and this is one vertebral body, we can see that it has these little processes that stick out the back, up to the top, the side, this large circular area, and the big space in the middle. Well, the big space in the middle is where the, the nerves run, the spinal cord, the spinal canal. And so we can see that the vertebra forms a bony structure to actually protect the spinal cord, which would be important because we want to protect those things that power our entire body's functions. The actual broad body in the front, which is called the vertebral body, is the area for weight support, and that allows us to stand upright and carry the weight of our body. The bones that go to the back of the spine are called pedicles, and they allow for powerful uh, connections from the front to the back of the spine. When we look from the side, we have a big knob that sticks out the back, and that's a spinous process. And we look straight in from the back, we can see to the side there are two little processes that come to the side that are called transverse processes. These are actual attachments for muscles and the reason that they stick out like wings to the side and out the back is to create a mechanical advantage so that the muscles can power like a pulley wheel off the side of a barn. They can power the body to allow us to stand upright and to move ourselves and to power the very fine and strong muscles of the back to support our motion. These other two knobs that stick off are the facets. This is the inferior facet because it sticks down and the superior facet that sticks up. And these allow for the motion in the spine by creating two joints behind. 